Alright guys, first thing I want to do is apologize for these first couple clips. They are incredibly bright, but that'll be fixed soon. The first thing we're going to be doing is taking off this backplate. It shouldn't be that big of a problem because Nintendo intended for you to take that off so you could switch out your SD card. One thing I will mention is that you should be really, really careful because the plastic seems incredibly flimsy and you don't want to snap anything. Now just like before, we're going to be taking these screw covers off just like the 3DS XL. Underneath, you're going to find four screws, and you're going to start taking those out, and you're going to set them all in a small dish. We're going to be taking this top plate off the same way we did with the other 3DS XL. One thing I noticed with this particular system is that the top plate popped off really easily, so that wasn't a problem, but everything on the inside seemed a lot more sensitive, so I wouldn't move this around too much more. Put it in a safe place for now. For a crisper cleaner project, make sure you tape off this middle section. Don't use packaging tape like I did. Make sure you use painter's tape or masking tape. It'll come out a lot better. Now here comes the fun part. You're going to be sanding this thing down for a little bit because you want to get rid of that gloss coat. No matter what you do though, as soon as you're done sanding, make sure you go over it with a fine, fine, fine grit sandpaper just to smooth everything out. That way you don't see any of your sand marks in your final product. Don't forget when sanding the bottom layer to be exceptionally careful of some of those thinner spots. You don't want anything snapping off now, not this far in the project. So once you have the sanding done, we're moving on to painting like normal. What we're going to be doing first is a couple of thin layers of primer. Make sure you wait about a half hour in between layers. Once we get the primer down, then we're going to move on to our gloss coats. But in the meantime, you're going to want your paint to dry in a warm spot, preferably dust free. Since it was cold outside, I moved mine into my closet. You get the idea. This part is optional, but recommended. I would recommend heating your paint up a little bit using a little bit of warm water just to help it spray better. Don't make it too hot! What we're doing now is we're hitting it with our first layer of our background color. In this case, I'm using black. Like the primer, you're going to want to be doing two coats of this. Make sure you wait about 35 minutes in between coats. At this point, I'm hitting my background with a little bit of purple just to give it a little bit of accent color. In between dry times is the perfect time to cut out a stencil if you have one in mind. So go online, print out whatever it is you're going to be putting onto your 3DS and cut it out. Use cardstock paper if you have it. Being mindful and careful of the plates that you've already painted, set them down in the paint spot and put the stencil down where you want it to spray. Make sure to hold it down with some spray paint cans and other heavy objects. You will be repeating this step for every layer of spray paint that you want to put down, making sure that you wait at least 35 minutes in between spray times. This will give the paint adequate time to dry and you won't end up smudging or wrecking any of your work so far. Once you're done spray painting everything, you're going to want to give the project 48 hours to dry. This is vitally important because the next step is detailing, and if you don't let the paint dry and harden completely, you risk cracking or ruining the paint job. So be patient, wait it out, and then move on to detailing. For the detailing, I'm using these oil-based glossy white and black Sharpie pens along with other various paint pens that you can find at Joanne Fabrics or other craft stores. Once the detailing has been finished, you're going to let it sit for about 24 hours. We then move on to the final phase of the painting. We're going to apply a clear coat over the whole thing. We're going to do three coats, and once again, we're going to allow 35 minutes in between each spray time. Once you've applied the final coat of clear coat, you're going to let the whole project sit for 72 hours. Be patient. You don't want to botch this. Not now. Oh god, not now. Before putting everything together, don't forget to take off that middle tape. Ah, it feels so good seeing it come out that clean. Carefully retrieve the new 3DS system from wherever you stored it, being very careful not to disturb any of the components in the top. Make sure you rest on something soft. Now the top plate's going to slide right back on the same way it came off. It may take a few tries, but it'll eventually go back on. Make sure everything's flush, or else when you go to put the screws back in, it's just going to pop the top right back off. 
Now screw everything back in, making sure not to make anything too tight. You don't want to crack the plastic in there. And once you've done with that, make sure you put the screw covers back on just to give it a nice clean finished look. And finally, you're going to pop the back case back on. Again, this shouldn't be too difficult as Nintendo intended users to take them off. Make sure to screw everything down, and there you go, you've finished your new 3DS custom painting. New 3DS XL? My new 3DS XL. I didn't want to fight to get the new Majora's Mask Special Edition 3DS, so I made my own. The new Nintendo 3DS XL came out, oh man, a little over a month ago, and this video was supposed to go up a lot sooner than it did, but I got sidetracked with Majora's Mask 3D, and I beat the crap out of it, and then I said, okay, well now that I'm done with Majora's Mask 3D, I can go ahead and paint my own. So, this is my girlfriend's 3DS, I'm using it as a bit of an example here. Um, if you'll know, look at the difference glossy kind of fingerprint magnet and then even though I used gloss paint not quite as glossy and definitely not as much of a fingerprint magnet so for in, that, in that aspect alone it's a hell of an improvement. New 3DS XL Majora's Mask came out well the only other thing I have to say about it it's not like super it's not untouchable because clearly I'm touching it but it does feel a little tacky and it may harden as time passes I got a little excited and I wanted to put it on uh, I still had it still had like three hours of dry time left, so I'm gonna go ahead and set this down <laughs> and let it continue drying. I just wanted to put it on. And I'm so excited with how it came out. Like I, I didn't like it at first, but time passed, and time heals all wounds, and change, and other words that express how I feel about this: feelings, love, hate, anger, lust. I have no idea what I'm saying at this point. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay awesome. And don't do anything I wouldn't do. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off the camera now because Heather's giving me a weird look. Hey guys, thanks for watching another video on Canvas Kingdom. If you want to check out the Lugia 3DS XL painting I did, click the video up top. And if you want to sit back and watch me play some games, we're playing System Shock 2. You can find the first part on the bottom link there. Thanks again for watching, stay awesome, and I will catch you in the next video.